please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Ahmad versus Day. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Mr. Ahmad, you say you were overjoyed to be a father after the birth of your first child, 22-month-old Nevaeh. However, you claim that you were crushed when the defendant later told you another man could be her dad. You are here today to prove you are Nevaeh's father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Day, you say that you were honest with Mr. Ahmad and told him from the beginning that you did not believe he was Nevaeh's dad. You plan to prove another man is Nevaeh's father today. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Ahmad, there's a lot at stake for you here in court today. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Explain. This is to be my first child, so I was overjoyed. Um, she was high risk, so she couldn't work. So I, what I did, I tried to do as best as a man that I could do. To and you help. all were in what kind of relationship? Committed, or were you just casual friends, or what? Boyfriend and girlfriend. Boyfriend and girlfriend, okay. And so you found out she was pregnant and you were excited because this was your very first child. Yes. And also, the, I've had a situation before where, you know, I had lost a child because of an ectopic pregnancy. So this was like my second chance, you know, to, to, to have a child, you know. And it At meant my a age, lot to you. you know, I waited 40 years to have a child. Now I come to find out that um, there could be a possibility that it's not mine. So... Ms. Day, what is your response to that? I told him the truth from the beginning, that she might not be his. And he said he wanted to be her father and he would be there for us. Talk to me about the relationship from your point of view. It was more of a friendship for me. Um, I loved Mr. Ahmad, but I wasn't in love with him. It was just, he was there for me and I needed somebody to be there for me. And how I found out she was pregnant, she came one morning uh, and then knocked on my window and said, well, I need to talk to you. And she says, well, I'm pregnant. And this is your child. No, I didn't say she was yours. I said she might be yours and she might not. So you are in a relationship, you think you got a girlfriend. Right. You're saying now, Ms. Day, I really wasn't in love with Mr. Ahmad, but he was a good friend. We were having a sexual relationship. He looked after me, and I needed somebody to look after me at that point. Yes, Your Honor. And then what happens with the relationship at that point? You all move in together after that? We never lived together. She was at my residence every day. That's not true. We didn't even get along that much. I was not at his house every day. <laughs> we argued so much, I never lived with him. Like, he would... When I spent the night, some nights, he would kick me out at 2 in the morning. Why are you up so upset now? Because you felt... You feel... I just feel like he trying to make me seem like a bad person when no, he know that no, I told him this might not no, be his baby. My intentions are to find out the truth for this baby. Because we did have a relationship, regardless if you want to call it that. Not uh, well, you called it a that. I, it was a you relationship. You called it a boyfriend it and girlfriend relationship. Right. She's calling it a friendship. From where I'm sitting, I mean, you all are beyond on different pages. You all are in different books. <laughs> and, I, and I don't mean it to be funny. Because a lack of communication... I, I mean, it is always running as an undercurrent in paternity situations. And I have to ask you, are you saying for certain that she never told you that you might be this child's father? Um, Is it because maybe you were so excited or you had experienced the tragic loss of the previous pregnancy? Something more than it was? No, ma'am, I... You're I, saying you did not hear her say there was another possible father? I've never known another man. She's been... That's I, not true. I went to work... When I, I to told work, him, and he I was came intoxicated home. and he kicked me out the same night that I told him. I disagree with that because now I feel like you're trying to make me feel some kind of way because if I was such a good friend, a friend doesn't do that to a friend. You kick me out every other night. How can I live with somebody like that? I did my And what best was to the kicking care. out over? Was it over other relationships, other men? No, it was over the baby. We would argue about it and he would put me out. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. 
That, that right there is a false statement. When Nevea was born, were you present, Mr. Ahmad? I was present the entire time she was pregnant. I cut the umbilical cord. I signed the birth certificate. After the baby was born, we left the hospital together. Matter of fact, her mother picked me up to go get, have when the baby was being delivered. Her own mother drove me to the hospital. So, Ms. Day, was he present as the father of this child at the he hospital? He was present, yes, he was. But he was present because he wanted to be. I, t I asked him not to sign my baby's birth certificate until we get a DNA. And he did it anyway. No. Nope. So you're saying that you asked him not to sign the birth certificate? Yes, until we knew that he, she was his. Why would you let somebody sign a birth certificate? I didn't let you. You did it on your own. How did he do it on his own? Did the hospital get the they information asked, from you? No, they asked him, was he the father? And he told them yes. And they asked him, did he want to sign a birth certificate? And he told them yes. And what did you say at the time? I wasn't... I wasn't there when he did it, when he signed. Mm -hmm. Well, wait a minute, because we actually contacted the hospital because we wanted to find out what the protocol was. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. We actually contacted the hospital because we wanted to find out what the protocol was for the execution of birth certificates. And per the hospital where Nevaeh was born, the procedure is, is when they admit a mother of a child into the maternity ward, she is asked to fill out a form for the birth certificate, including the father's name and information. If the information provided by the mother does not match, the father cannot sign the birth certificate. So, were you ever given the information card? Yes, I was given the information card. What information did you put on the card? I put my name and her name. But you did not put his name? No, I did not. At all? No, I did not. But I gave my baby his name because he was there. The other person was not there. So you gave the child his last name? Yes. And so, Mr. Ahmad, do you remember the nurse saying, are you the father of the child? And you said yes. We were at an administ administration desk. And she asked me, where's I the father? I said, yes, I'm the father. Ms. Day is totally aware of this. We were in a relationship. I had a cesarean. She and had a I was right. drugged up. Like, I was, was unaware that he signed my baby's birth certificate. Basically, all this is, like, it's disheartening for somebody to, like, demean you. It hurts for some of the words that she's saying that, uh... I wasn't in a relationship with him, but I never messed with another man while I was sexually involved with Mr. Ahmad. This is something that happened before I was sexually involved with him. Are you saying the other man, you truly believe this other man is Nevaeh's biological father? Yes. Why do you believe that? Because she looks like his kids. She looks like him. She don't look like Mr. Ahmad at all anymore. And so, do you admit that you led Mr. Ahmad to believe that he was her biological father? No, I told him the truth from the beginning. If you told the truth and you knew I it's wasn't the biological... Was why would you put me on... Why would you put me on child support? Because you signed the birth certificate and you told me you was gonna be there for her. Well, we did a little investigation of your social media. And we found some very interesting posts. We did a little investigation of your social media. And we found some very interesting posts. Now, this is Mr. Ahmad, am I correct? Yes. It says, happy Father's Day to my child's father. Even though she's not here yet, he's already amazing. He takes damn good care of us. I'm proud to call him mine. That's because he was there. He was there. He wanted to be her father. So... That was before she was born? Yes. Okay. So let's go to the next post. It says, 
Happy birthday to my baby daddy. I love you, baby. Then she looked just like her daddy right here. Is that Mr. Ahmad in the picture? Yes, I said she looked like him at first, but she doesn't anymore. As she get older, she look more like the other man. You're affirming his belief. You're saying definitively, this is my child's father. I don't see on any of those posts you bringing up the fact that there may be someone else. The child knows my family. He has aunties, uncles. You haven't seen my child in months. That is another like, she lie. She don't even... That is another no, lie. No, it's not. You don't even take care of her anymore. You don't do anything. You don't even come get her. You don't see her or nothing. I do it all by myself. So I told him, just don't come back. He want to do this back and forth. I don't need a back and forth daddy in her life. But now, Ms. Day, you're crying out that he doesn't spend time with her, but you're also saying he's not her father. But that's who she know as her father. That's who she know as her dad. Where's the other man? Do you know where he is? Yes. Does he want to be a part of her life? Yes. He does? He takes care of her. You live with Oh! Her. Right. I think I want to talk to this other gentleman. He is joining us from his hometown. Mr. Flowers, thank you for joining us. Has Miss Day explained to you that Mr. Ahmad is on the birth certificate and he was also told that he was Nevaeh's biological father? Yes, ma'am. So what was your relationship like with Ms. Day? Everything been cool all the way up to this baby situation occurred. When it occurred, she told me to be a 50-50 chance. I left the situation right there and went on about my way. But she says you take care of Nevaeh now. Yeah, she be with me at work and everything. She does? Yes, and so when you're with her, do you feel like this is my little girl or... I, don't, I just don't know, Judge. Like he said, he here to find out, I'm here to find out. So, Ms. Day, it sounds like you've got them both on a string. If you truly believe Mr. Ahmad is not her biological father, why worry him at all? I don't call him. I don't... I barely ever ask him for anything. Mr. Flowers is my best friend, and he's always been there for me before I even had a kid. Wow. This is, is, th does this, this is, testimony this... surprise you, Mr. Ahmad? I don't know this man. I'm out of this situation now, and my main deal is, what is the paternity of this, my baby? I say she's my baby. And you've developed a bond with the baby. I love the You baby. say your family has developed a bond with the baby. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. She's developing bonds with not just you, but Mr. Flowers as well. And so, Ms. Day, at first, Mr. Ahmad stepped up and you thought you had found a safe place for you and the baby. Yes. And so you told him he was the father. Yes. But then you turned to Mr. Flowers and allowed him to be even more present in Nevaeh's life. Yes. Because he was providing and he was taking up the slack. I never really forced that on him. He did that all that on his own. So, bottom line is this. Are you saying that Mr. Flowers is Nevaeh's biological father because you believe he truly is or because you don't want Mr. Ahmad to be? Well, I believe she Mr. Flowers because he said he feel in his heart that she is his. What are you feeling like, Mr. Ahmad, this, this, this situation is trying to rob you of this beautiful, precious moment in time? Yes. I, I feel like I'm being robbed. I know I, I, got in, I got into a car wreck, and I know financially right now I'm unable to do the best that I can, but that can change. I want to. This is not about money. It's about, is this my daughter? That's all I want to know. I didn't come here to defame her <laughs> or talk bad about her. This is real, and it hurts. I signed that birth certificate because I believe 100%, and I was led to believe that that was my child. I'm ready for the results. Jerome? <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. 
Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Ahmad versus Day, pertaining to whether Mr. Ahmad or Mr. Flowers is the biological father of 22-month-old Nevea Ahmad. It has been determined by this court. The biological father is Mr. Flowers. Mr. Flowers, you are the father. Yeah, that's mine. That's my baby. But listen, you are the biological father, but I need you all to understand in this room that Mr. Ahmad is still the legal father. Yeah. She has his name and he's on her birth certificate. You all are gonna have to return to your home state and try to get this taken care of. Mr. Ahmad, are you all right? I'm very sorry. I know this was not the news you expected nor wanted. I'm hurt, and I'm hurt. So, Ms. Day, don't sweep it under the rug. Own up to what you've done. Make your apologies. Try to get your daughter. I do own up to what I've done. Good. That's why I told both of them the truth. Let's do the right thing with it. I wish you all the very best of luck. Court is adjourned. And we'll take a seat over here in this chair.